Hello and welcome to another lesson on soundproofing. Today we're going to be talking about a new product that I have not heard of before, but someone in our soundproofing community asked me, hey, have you checked out these hush frame rafts? And I said, no, I've never heard of them, but I'm interested. So I did some research and I decided to make a video for you to decide if these are a product that you would be interested in or something that maybe we can just uh, leave to the side and focus on what matters most and use the products that we know work well. So in this video, I'm gonna go over hush frame rafts and let you know what I think about their ability to soundproof, their price comparison compared to other isolation clips. And I'll also talk about uh, how what they are and how they're used in construction with soundproof rooms. All right, before we jump in, I wanna let you know that I do have a free resource for you. This is my free soundproofing workshop. It is 45 minutes of in-depth teaching, better than any YouTube video, going in and teaching you exactly how I would build a soundproof home recording studio or soundproof room. So if you are on that journey, check it out at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. All right, let's jump into this lesson on should you use hush frame rafts. Okay, first we gotta figure out what in the world are these hush frame rafts? So they essentially are an isolation clip. Isolation clips are used when we're using what are called a hat channel system. In this case, you could actually use a wood furring channel system, but essentially what it is is a way to decouple our drywall from the existing wood or metal studded wall in your room. So this is a great methodology for soundproofing if you wanna save some space, uh, and maybe if your soundproofing needs aren't as high as you would need for a double wall system. So that's what the hush frame rafts do. Now you might be wondering, how do they work? So according to the website, they use something called Vibridge technology, which is a trademark term. Again, uh, in the soundproofing world, we see this a lot with these trademark terms that show some special technology. Uh, but really what it's doing is it's reducing the sound that travels from the actual wood studded wall through the wood studs into your drywall and into your room. So it is a isolation clip, it is a barrier, and it's made mostly of wood and I think silicone is if I did my research correctly. Uh, their website is a little vague, so if you do some deep dive, you can actually contact the company and ask them some more questions if you're interested in using this product. One thing that's interesting is you can use a wood furring channel, meaning you could use pieces of three quarter inch wood screw them directly into the hush rafts, and then you could then frame your drywall to those wood furring channels. So that is unique. Uh, you cannot use that same method when you're using other isolation clips. You could also use 7 8 inch furring channel like I used in my studio on the ceiling uh, with these hush raft clips. So you would screw the 7 8 inch furring channel directly into the wood hush frame rafts and then the hush frame rafts would sit on the wood stud framed wall. Now according to their website, hush frame claims that it reduces 80% of the noise traveling through your wall. So that is again a very vague term as many of you know on this channel, I like science, I like graphs, I like legitimate testing at some place like Riverbank Labs here in the United States, which they did do. So I am happy that they did test their uh, product. So that is good. However, it's a little vague. There's no like actual lab test reports that I could find on their website. So that said, they also said they got a STC rating of 66. Again, they didn't show me the wall structure exactly how they did that. Again, if I emailed them, I'm sure they would let me know, but just on their website, it's a little confusing. An STC of 66 is kind of worthless unless we know how we're using those isolation clips with our wall. All right, let's talk about hush frame rafts versus other isolation clips on the market. So when I built my studio, I used a clip called the IB1 clip, which was available through the soundproofing company. But what I've learned is that these same clips come in different terminology, same exact manufacturer, same exact clip, but the soundproofing stores online will rename them so it looks like it's branded under their uh, name in their store. It's another little marketing trick that a lot of these companies do, but I found the same exact clip uh, named under the term a237 resi mount, which is at a website called buildcoredirect.com. So if you're interested in looking at that, I got a price for $1.79, which was the cheapest I could find on a very basic 
search the IB1 clips, just so you know, from Soundproofing Company are a little more expensive. I think it's the exact same clip. Uh, they run about $2.10 per clip. So the hush frame clips are available from different suppliers here in the United States. I don't know if they're available in Europe yet, but you can get them from a store called the ISO store, which I found doing a quick Google search. And the clips from multiple suppliers that I've looked at were around $4.95 per clip. So we have $1.79 for the metal clips I used in my studio, it works great. Or you can spend $4.95 for the wood hush frame rafts. That right there is probably the biggest discrepancy is price. Just to give you some um, idea of how much that could save you, if we did say 50 clips, that would save you about $158. So, you know, the more clips you use, the more money you're gonna save by buying cheaper clips. Now that we have some price comparison, let's talk about the space savings. They claim on the website that the hush frame clips only take up one inch of extra space uh, added to your wall. So that's pretty good. But then I did some research into how much space is actually added by adding in the regular ISO clips that I mentioned before that are $1.79 plus the 7 8 inch furring channel. And I found that it's actually pretty comparable. I didn't actually measure the space when I was building my studio, but you've got a 7 8 inch furring channel. So that's 7 8 of an inch and it sits inside the IB1 clip or the uh, A237 clip. And once that furring channel clips into the the metal clip, it sits in there where there's maybe only like an eighth of an inch, a few sixteenths of an inch uh, that pushes it out plus the seven eighths of an inch. So I'm estimating that you're probably gonna have about an inch to one, in, one and one eighth of an inch added from your ceiling stud, for example, to the drywall that you're gonna be screwing into your channels. So keep that in mind, we're looking at roughly the same space. So I don't really see that you're gonna save a ton of space by using the hush frame rafts versus the cheaper isolation clips. Now we need to compare the STC ratings. So again, I said it was very vague on their website about that STC rating of 66. That's a very good STC rating. Um, you can achieve that with the isolation clips as well. So assuming that you're building a wall like this diagram here, it shows the different STC ratings from the Soundproofing Company website. And so if we used two layers of drywall with green glue on the outside wall, and then two layers of drywall with the resilient clips, hat channels, and then two layers of drywall with green glue on the inside wall, you get an STC rating of 71. So that's really good. That's going to be an, a, a great STC rating. Now, if you were going to use just one layer of drywall on the outside of your wall and then use the same system with two layers of drywall and green glue in the middle on the inside wall with the clips and everything, you're going to get an STC rating of 67. So that STC rating of 67 is just one point greater than the STC rating of 66 that the hush frame company claims they could get using their hush frame rafts. Now, if we look at the last part of this diagram here, we can see that the just using two layers of drywall with one layer of drywall on the outside and using the whole decoupling system with the ISO clips and the hat channels, you get an STC rating of 58. So that's gonna be worse than what the hush frame rafts recommend. So adding the green glue according to the soundproofing company will greatly increase your isolation. Also adding more drywall on the outside of the wall will also always help with isolation. So in conclusion, would I recommend the hush frame rafts to one of my soundproofing clients, let's say? Uh, the answer is probably not. I think that the money spent on the more expensive clips, uh, it's really cool that they're wood, that's kind of fun. Uh, but honestly, I would tell my client, hey, you're gonna save several hundred dollars by buying these cheaper metal clips, they work great, I've used them before, and honestly, they're super fast and easy. The hat channel just clips right in, as you can see in this video here, and it moves quickly, they're easy to use. The hush frame rafts, I could kind of see them being more complicated to use because you have to screw in more screws into the rafts, and the wood furring channel could be cool, but wood is so much more expensive than that metal furring channel is gonna be. So you're gonna end up spending more money in the long run anyways. So I don't know if I buy their whole sales pitch. I don't think you save a ton of space. You might save an eighth of an inch, but again, that's really negligible when we're talking about these, uh, say the extra cost and everything that you're gonna have to deal with with adding in the hush frame rafts. 
Lastly, with the STC ratings, uh, if you can get that STC rating of 66 using their wall design with the hush frame rafts, then it could be worth it. However, you can get the same or higher rating by simply adding more drywall to the outside wall or using something like green glue uh, in the middle of your drywall to increase the STC rating. So I would say save the money that you would spend on the extra clips and put it towards something that I think is more useful with soundproofing, such as more money spent on added layers of drywall or more money spent on something like a damping compound like green glue. All right, I hope this video has been helpful uh, with deciding if hush frame rafts are worthwhile in building your soundproof studio. Again, if you guys are interested in going down this journey of soundproofing more in depth, check out my free soundproofing workshop. You can watch it right away at soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. That's soundproofyourstudio.com slash workshop. I will see you all next week with another helpful video on soundproofing and room acoustics. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you later. Mm -hmm.